This tranquil setting has a troubled past. Between 1998 and 2000, Sabaya was at the front line of a bloody conflict between Ethiopia and Eritrea. Now the war with Eritrea is over, but Sabaya is battling for its land once more, this time with the changing weather. <laughs> Teamu, Ali and their family have lived in Sebeya all their lives. They've lived through years of bitter conflict and rebuilt their lives and livelihoods from its rubble. Now this farming family again faces an uncertain future. Changes in the weather are making it harder and harder for them to grow the food they need to survive. They are entirely dependent on rain to water their crops. But the once reliable rainy season is getting shorter. Sometimes the rains come late and end early. Sometimes violent hailstorms come and destroy the crops. Sometimes the rains don't come at all. The Ali family is battling a problem they've had no hand in creating. They live a simple life. They have no car, use no electricity. But climate change still threatens everything. <laughs> Their youngest daughter, Mahalat, is still in school and dreams of being a doctor when she grows up. Her family are determined to do all that they can to get her there. But because of the changes in the weather and growing food insecurity, even a basic income is hard to come by, let alone have money to spend on an education. The family and others in their community want to stay on their land, to farm, to get an education, and to live free from the constant strain of worrying about whether there will be enough to eat next year. The Ethiopian government runs a cash for work program to help farmers in dire circumstances. However, their resources too are strained. But thanks to your support, this family is one of nearly 50 households in the Sabaya community to join a new irrigation scheme. This scheme will enable farmers to have three harvests a year, where now they struggle to produce just one, giving them greater security and an income from the extra food that they can grow and sell on the market helping to keep their children in school. Please support families like the Ali's in their fight against climate change by giving what you can this Lent. <laughs>